Well, the Cherry Creek Arts Festival is bringing more than just art into your home. Some area students are also given the chance to kind of liven up their schools. Yeah, it's all part of the Jana Student Art Buying Program. And Casey Cortese joins us this morning to get, tell us more about this. Good morning. Thank you for being here. It's great to be here. Okay, so tell us about this program, about kids having the opportunity to pick the art pieces that'll go up in their schools? Yeah, it's a really great and innovative program. We partnered with the festival's education department to create it, and it's based on an in-classroom study guide where the students and their teachers talk about art as more than just a personal preference, but also as a reflection of culture and as a business. And then 24 schools are invited to the festival, and we give them a budget to go and purchase art that will go on permanent installation in their school. So they're out there negotiating with the artists, coming up with some really fantastic deals, and then they come back and present their selection to a whole panel of a, 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 short, a small jury and the general public on Monday at noon, which is really exciting to see and hear them explain why they chose the art that they did. Yeah, that's the fun part for me. Now, so they're going to do this on Monday. Tell us how this works. How do you choose the schools? How do they get in there? Well, there's a whole application process where they have to let us know how they embrace art in their schools overall and why they think arts education is important. And then we look at all the different applications and pick the 24 that we feel had the best, um, the best inclination to use art effectively as a way to improve their entire education system. And then they, they come to the, um, to the festival and they have a whole list of questions that they review to make sure that they're really choosing art that's going to be most reflective of the culture of their school. Cool. And some of the art actually get to travel around the state. This is what they call the Mobile Art Gallery. Yeah, Can you and tell us more about sure, that? Sure. That gallery is a collection of art that goes around to schools and community centers. It's been in existence since 1994. And four of the schools get to choose art that goes into that touring collection. And we actually create a voting program because we wanted to get more people in the community involved so people can go to the festival website select their favorite artists and the artists with the most votes will be the ones that the kids go to and buy the art from for that touring collection oh, that's, that's cool that's very nice it's it's beautiful art by the way you can see an example of it inside cherry creek mall that's the video you're seeing there so the fun part to me is also the kids show up on monday mm -hmm. they've been chosen through these essays mm -hmm. you janice hands them a check and they just go out and buy pretty much anything they want it could be one item four items five items but the fun part is when they come back, they have to kind of justify why they bought those pieces. Tell us about that. Well, it's uh, part of the concept is to make the program very robust, and we thought it would be great to give them an opportunity to also work on public speaking skills. So they come back, and there's a jury of professional artists that ask them a few questions about their choices, why they chose the medium they did, maybe the color selection, and how they think that piece will fit within their school culture. So it's really exciting to see these kids get up in front of a large audience, and it's really amazing to hear the reason behind their choices. They're so articulate and so passionate about what they've done Sharp and students. very proud of the contribution they're making to their schools. It is fun to see. Well, hats off to Janice for continuing to assist in the community, even during some tough economic times. Absolutely. We appreciate you being here. It's Casey, good. thank you. Thank you. And of course, here at Arts Festival this weekend, so That's go right. out and check it out. We'll be out there as well. Yes.